Hello, ladies and gentlemen, toy enthusiasts and those new to Tough Nerd Toys LLC. I'm your host, Uncle Nerd, and welcome to another exciting episode of Busted Open. Busted and Open since 2007, and today we are going to review one of my favorite Motu characters done in a modernized fashion, Master Universe New Eternia 2-Bad. 2-Bad has always been one of my all-time favorites, along with Manny Faces, along with uh, Trapjaw, along with, uh, oh gosh, you just so many, so many of them. But the Jitsu is another one. But this one right here is looks inside of the package. It looks absolutely amazing. And we are going to go into this guy. So first we're gonna check out the box right here. Bring this a little bit closer. And it says Master First on the top, 30 points of articulation. It's in a nice window box as you can see right here. Six and up, uh, Matthew Universe, New Eternia, too bad. Mattel on the side, beautiful. And I mean beautiful artwork of Tuvar and Badra or too bad. Um, loving the storyline that they gave these guys in the 2002 or the two, yeah, the, the 2000X um, Motu line that didn't last long but was done very well. Um, too bad over here, double headed evil strategist right here. Um, on the back, wow, this artwork is stunning, absolutely stunning. On the back, it says once the respected captains of competing mercenary ships, Tuvar and Badger both had their eyes on legendary treasure of the Horde Prime. The treasure, however, came with a curse. It fused the rival captains together, who now terrorized New Eternia as Too Bad. With his combined knowledge, Too Bad could rule the universe, if it weren't so for his combined ego. And this looks great. This artwork is absolutely amazing. And we have new characters within the line, and I do have Stratos, Roboto, Frosta, and Evil Lynn. Uh, yes, I will be collecting the She-Ra line. I love this Masterverse line. I know there's rumors about them, you know, canceling the line. Nothing lasts forever, but in the meantime, until, it, until they stop, I'm going to keep buying them so on and so forth barcode is over here as you can see and yes this guy looks absolutely amazing inside of the box the illegal mumbo jumbo on the bottom barcode down here as you can see if you want to um pause the video want to pause the video and pretty much uh how can i say pause the video and uh take this barcode down you can to make sure you get him he i have been finding him in certain targets here and there certain characters are more available than other ones but yes too bar too too bad is one of my favorites i will leave a bio card up here as to his origin so on and so forth but yeah but there's different origins with him some people said horde prime did it to him some people in the mike young ca ca cartoon uh tuvar and badra were fused together by skeletor for failure but um, yeah, either way, I don't care what Lord is. I just love this guy right here and I love the Masterverse line. So give me a second, let's bust this guy open and see if Tuvar and Badra, or too bad, is worth the scratch. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and here we have Too Bad outside of the package, and he looks great. He comes chock full of accessories right here, and as, as always, we're going to go into the accessories first because, you know, I like to really go over the figure, give it a nice, you know, nice uh, review of it so that you can also see if you want to purchase this figure or not. And I'm going to bring this a little bit closer so you guys can see, and it comes with this nice mace right here. Now, there's no really, there's, there's great detail on it, but there's really no coloring on any of these uh, weapons right here, but they're done in a hard plastic, as you can see. You got this nice mace right here. You got detail and sculpting in the handle. Looks real good. Nice spikes on it right there. Then you have this other mace right here, pretty much like this emerald colored mace right here. And it looks really, really good. This is pretty much possibly um, Badras over here. And it looks really good. Great sculpting, nice wear look. A little bit of wash on it to give a little bit of, uh, how can I say, like, uh, I guess, you know, to give it a little bit of realism, but they did a great job. And it's cast in the same plastic that the, it's, it's made out of the same plastic that they're colored in. So it's pretty much like this is like a purple or burgundy, you know, so it's made out of that plastic, no painting or anything on it, but a little bit of wash splashes on it, as you can see. Then you have this battle axe right here with the two surf with the two heads right here that are merged together and it has sculpting along the handle and along the hilt of it, like nice battle axe, worn damage looking going on right here, sculpted into it. Looks really, really good. Again, in a hard plastic. Then you have his signature shield, which is the combination of both of their, um, both uh, Tuvar and Badra's shield right here. And it looks great. Has the, um, has the vinyl, uh, how can I say, latches in the inside, so that if you wanna just slide his arm through, you can, no painting on here, but great sculpting detail. You can take a brush to these if you want. 
and you can see different textures within the shield right here and there's a nice emblem sculpted into the middle of the shield right there you see nice battle damage going on and everything then you have this silver blaster or like pretty much this gray blaster but it's done in a gray all of these are casted um, they're 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 made they're cast out of the plastic that they came from right here and it looks really really good i like this i might get a couple of these off of ebay to give to like you know like man at arms or whatever the case may be but it's a really big blaster to be you know to really look at it when you look at it great detail and sculpting along the blaster and you have these two fists right here done very well this is badras this is two vars right here and it looks really, really good. Great sculpting, again, cast out of the plastic that it is made in. Some wash along the fist right here, and you see some scaling sculpting right there going on with uh, the with Badger's hand right here, with Badger's hand right here. And Tuvar's metal fist looks really good. You got nice sculpting along in it, looking very good. And it has a peg right here so that you can plug it in and take them out of, you know, take them out if you want. But it looks really, really good great detail along in these hands right here as you can see now we're going to go into the creme de la creme right here and that is too bad let me move these over bring this back and this guy is big i'm gonna tell you right now this is a big figure man this is a very big figure i would say he's coming in at about eight inches i had to bend his legs because it's top heavy he, he, he's very top heavy because he has two people you know merged together and i've always loved too bad again i'm a big masterverse fan very big fan of Master Universe, so on and so forth. Love the mode. Every line that pretty much came out in the most Master Universe, I collected right here. Now, as you can see, there's great sculpting in the face right here. Both faces look good, look respective to their original G1 characterization right there. You have like a belt, vinyl belt along him with great sculpting and paint on it. You know, nice deco along the belt right there. Now, there's not much paint on the armor. There wasn't that much paint on either versions of these. The 2000X version or the original one had a lot of um, paint on it, but it looks good. This face sculpt looks absolutely amazing right there. You can see horns and see like protruding little whatever's coming out of the side of his head. I guess those are horns. And they sculpted in an earring on Badger, which looks real good right there. Nice loincloth, completely re new body sculpt. I'm hating to see this line go because, you know, you know, I was uh, listening, you know, I stayed on the cusp of like toy news along with other news and everything. And it was, you know, Spectre Creative was up there like, oh, it's going to die in April. That's it. You're not going to see no more Motu Origins and Motu um, Massiverse. All right. If that's the truth, then it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Nothing lasts forever, but it looks real good. But, you know, I look at it like this. Why are you wishing for it to die so fast? I mean, like, you know, if you were the guy that worked on it, wouldn't you want to see Motu grow without you, you know? But that's the topic for another day. But over here, you see like the nice metal gauntlet he has going on. The glove looks real good and everything. You see sculpting in the glove, nice silver paint. Um, the gauntlets over here on Badger's side looks real good too. You can see like there's some detail going on, some sculpted detail going on. And the belt looks really good everything looks real good on this guy i love the way they gave him like this this this, this muscular looking texture going on in his leg feet are nice and big done in a dull gray plastic though you know and over here you have badger's foot looking real good nice and big too and this figure is very big very big this is a big figure i'm telling you uh over here along the belt looks really good you got some cla got a clasp over here backpack you got oh i like the sheath over here is a weird looking type of sheath let's see what it holds but this guy looks really really good they did a great job on this figure look at his face right here face sculpt is nice and toned nice and sharp no bleeding of paint on here or anything you even see like some shadowing and skin textures going on on the blue side over here which is very good you know you got like the fins on his head look really good the fin on badger's head looks really good different textures of paint because if you see there's like a violet paint going along with the little studded horns on the top nice scaling nice scale textures going on on the skin right here i've always loved too bad he always felt as though he was more than one figure he was more than one figure than, than just one like same thing with manny faces because i always felt as though manny faces you could like i always used to play with him as a robot or play with him as a man or play with him as a monster you know you could just you, it's just so many options with this guy but these figures i absolutely love them absolutely love them let me see if i can get these now look he has his shield right here right his shield slides on really good 
Now I was able to get the shield on, right? I'm gonna tell you this right now. I don't know what type of plastic they're using now. It is pretty much like cement. It's, I mean, it's not a bad thing, but I mean, I don't think six-year-olds are gonna be able to put the weapon, put the weapons in these toy in these guys' hand because um, they're they're hard. It's hard plastic. I literally, without put put it like this, without giving this thing some heat, it's not gonna. You, you're going to have a problem putting the weapons in these guys' hands. Do I mind that they're using more premium plastic? Not at all. But it's going to be a problem for like six years, six year olds, and whatever the case may be. You got the gun holster over here. Fits in really nice right there on his leg. Looks really good. Shield looks good on him. The weapons, I will take some pictures and put them on for you. I was able to fit this into his backpack like this. And you can rotate the backpack like that, so on and so forth, which is cool. So if he wants to use the axe, it'll flip over to his side. He wants to use the axe. You know, it'll flip over to each, you know, you can have it stylized any which way you like it. But uh, yeah, this guy is hard and he's made out of some hard type plastic, man. I was not able to just open the hands and get the weapons in here. I will take some pictures with this guy with his weapons inside of there. But I mean, you're going to have to heat this guy. He's a big dude, too. He's very big. So let's go over the articulation of Too Bad right here. Too bad can get it, has some nice head rotation going on. No neck joints down at the bottom or anything like that. But you can get this thing to go somewhat all the way around. Not fully. If you really want to take it, you can. But I mean, like, you know, as you saw, that's what you get. You got some head over here on Badra. Looks real good. Looking down, looking up. Head can go around, so on and so forth. Let me straighten this out for you guys. And uh, ball joint over here. Bicep swivel, double hinged elbow. Over here, pinless joints, as you can see, thigh cuts, leg split. Um, you have a ab crunch right here, very tight due to all of the engineering and construction going on right here. And you have a waist twist and somewhat of a tilt going on, but not that much. Leg, leg kicks out that much, leg kicks forward this much, double hinge, knee. I love the way they did the skin on here. It looks real good. Leg kicks back thus far like that. You have a calf twist as you can see ankle rocker but no toe um toe pivot and i don't like toe pivot i'm gonna be honest with you because when it starts getting old that toe pivot starts giving a problem when it comes to like the character standing up but this guy is actually really really beautiful but he's made out of some type of hellish plastic not a bad thing that means that this toy is going to last a very very long time but uh yeah he's he's hard the his weapons are hard and I had to literally put him face down on the table and push this in here. You see how it's stuck in there? Put it like this. Once the weapons are on him, that's it. That's it. You know, because the hands are made out of hard plastic. Not like, you know, the movable plastic that, you know, like the pretty much the soft plastic, but hard plastic that you can maneuver around. It's some type of plastic going on with this, but it looks absolutely beautiful. Loving the way they have the skin meshed together on both halves right here. Looks real good. Absolutely beautiful. They did a great job on this guy. I love the studs that they put on him. He looks great. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take some pictures of this guy and I'm going to come back with my final thoughts for you guys, okay? All right.
as a whole, Tuvar and Badra are too bad. Look, at, looks absolutely amazing. And he is coming in at, let's see, almost nine, eight inches. He's a big boy. I'm telling you, he's a big boy. I, I would even say eight and a half. Do if you count this fin on top of his head. I love the way the proportions they make. They show you that one side is bigger than the other one, which would be realistic if you're merging two people together. Should he be bigger than the other Master Universe figures? Absolutely. It's two people merged together. Looks great. Again, weapons are great. Everything is great. It's just that you will have to give this guy some heat. And no, my my um my studio isn't cold or anything like that. It's it's just that this figure they. I don't know what they're doing with this newer line, but like each line gets better and better. Will I hate to see this line go? Absolutely. But I will collect every figure within the line as I've done so thus far. Um, uh, some of the first wave figures I didn't get to review for you guys, but I will do like a short for you so you can check it out. See if you like it. But he is coming in again at, let me see. Yeah, he's a big boy. He's bigger than the other Motu characters, as I was telling you, uh, the, in, within the Massiverse or the New Eternia line. Here he is with, uh, let me see, Motu Classics, He-Man. Motu Classics is dwarfed by Too Bad. Look at this. Look at this. Here he is with 40th Anniversary He-Man. And I love the way he's big. In the 2000X, the Mike Young comics, and the, the, uh, the comics that they had based on the 2000X line, too bad was a big dude. He was a big dude, and he should be, along with Beastman and the rest of them. Here he is with Masterverse He-Man, Revelations. And look, Masterverse He-Man is just short compared to him. And it's good. It's good that he's like that. I love this. I absolutely bring him over a little bit. I absolutely love this. And I always used to like to pose too bad in the terms like, in 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 ways to where so like uh this one is looking this way this one's looking that way so on and so forth i mean they're two separate people they, they, they again they were merged together like that do they like being like that not at all so they're going to do their own thing or try to do their own thing and i know i remember as a kid the old the old toy the g1 toy that i had had this function where you can make them fight each other and stuff like that but this looks good and here he is next to Motu Classics, let me see, let me straighten him out. Motu Classics, too bad. That's how big this guy is, and I absolutely love it. I love it. Not a big fan of the Motu Origin stuff because it just looks too kiddy to me. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, I like the more humanoid or man look. And here he is next to, hi, hi. Turn around, baby. Whoa, what? Happening in a big boy. You look like you, wow, that gun is big. It's not bigger than mine, but it's big. And you got all these muscles and these weapons and stuff like that. I don't really think you should be here. You're very menacing looking. But how did you get like that? Well, well I tell you what, I got some ointment that I use on my heat mystic escapades that it will possibly solve the skin problem you have right here. But the only way you can use it is if you. If you need a job, let me know. That was David Nora. He's back. He's happy to be back um, doing movies and videos with us. Actually, we, we watch movies together sometimes. He, he hates Star Wars for some apparent reason. He hates Star Wars. But yeah, Too Bad is very nice. A must have within the Motu um, Massiverse line. The figures are just getting better and better. Or this one is considered the New Eternia under the Massiverse line. I love it. I will keep buying these until they just stop making them. So with that being said, um, that brings this review to a close. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and share this video. And don't forget, if you buy a toy, what do you do? You bust it open. Also, check out my Dead Space stream that I'm going to be doing on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. Okay, guys? Yeah, too bad. Looks great. Pick him up while you can. All right? I think it does it hold the uh... okay this must be it what goes in here
I don't I don't know how this is supposed to fit into them. But uh I think mm-hmm. I don't know. We're gonna figure that out.